I grew up in western Pennsylvania in a small town, but uh, went to University of Pittsburgh. And my first year was uh, exposed to an older cousin of mine who lived in a great house with a bunch of young guys who were, had a lot of fun and would invite me to their parties. And one of them was a dentist. And he invited me to his office. I worked with him. But I liked the work. And uh, that's what got me started thinking about dentistry. We finished Temple Dental School in 1983. My profession's about trust with people. It's developing relationships with people over a lifetime, over a long period of time. And I come from a small town. My wife comes from a smaller town in northern Maine. It's uh, it, the way you're raised in, in a small town is a little bit different. I think that you understand the values of, of relationships over long periods of time. So that's the best part. First year of school, first month of school, and a uh, big lecture hall, and there were only 15 women in our class at the time. Now it's more like half and half, and I thought she was the prettiest girl in the school by far. I remember just looking over at her, and she happened to be sitting two seats over. She looked at me, and she smiled, and she reached over, and she said, you have ink on your face. <laughs> and she was laughing at the ink on my face, but once she touched me, that was it, you know, it was over. So we went through school together, and then opened a practice together, and now I have two children, now it's 30 years later, and you know, it's been our t children are temple children, you know, because it all happens through temple. School of Rock is, is really an amazingly simple concept, which is the best way to learn music is by performance, is by learning how to perform it. Our kids play in live venues, real live venues, live music, live rock and roll shows. And um, we use the music of rock and roll from 60s, 70s to teach kids all the complex uh, theories of music and how to, how to master an instrument. I'm a lover of the music that came out of the 60s and 70s. I think it was an amazing period in um, Rock and roll, our kids ask us all the time in School of Rock, uh, you know, is that ever going to happen again? And we're like, no, it's amazing that it ever happened in the first place. One of the freedoms of working with my wife was that um, I had the ability to uh, venture out of just practicing dentistry. I've had the opportunity to step away and do different things. I don't, I don't have a big wish list. I really don't. I feel like I'm involved in, in, in as much as I would like to be involved in. I think one of Temple's greatest strengths is that university is not full of kids who are looking for a pedigree that's going to open doors for the rest of their lives. Because that's a fallacy. Through life experience, you've got to get out and you've got to make it. You know, like it's, it's you that's going to make it. It's not going to be advice from someone like me. I can't even tell you how my wife and I got to this point, other than the willingness to sort of bite off more than we can chew and then chew it. And I think Temple's full of students like that. Temple runs this city. Temple is starting to look like it could be one of the greatest urban universities because of the changes that are occurring there. And as the city creeps toward North Philadelphia, starts creeping and expanding up that way, Temple's position is going to be even more unique and, and better suited for the students in the future.